Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Acura Auto Show presented by Smail Acura in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Today we'll be connecting you directly to our showroom floor with a trained product specialist and a live cameraman. We will answer all your questions and perform live demonstrations on your favorite Acura vehicles. Without any further ado, let's start the broadcast with your hostess, Taylor Smail. everyone and welcome to the 2021 Smail Acura Virtual Auto Show. My name's Taylor and I'm going to be coming along with you guys this morning as we check out all the cool things that Acura has in store for us. We're going to get to check out some special edition models. We have the 2022 MDX and we have an NSX we're going to get to check out. Um, but before we get started, just a quick reminder to like this video, go ahead and share it. Um, this is live, so we'll be able to answer all your questions as they come in and make sure we show you guys everything that it is you want to see. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce our Acura product specialists, Jessica Crawford and Clint Robbins. Hi. Good morning. Are you guys excited? There. I am. I was going to say, I know we have a lot of cool things we're going to get to show everyone. Um, just a quick reminder for everyone at home, we are all in separate locations, and then we have an on-site videographer that's going to show us the vehicles as we're talking about them. So we're being very COVID safe here. Absolutely. But um, do you guys have a favorite vehicle or a special one you want to talk about first? Well, since the uh, NSX is on the uh, camera there. <laughs> let's, uh, I know let's that's start. my favorite. I'm yeah, let's start favorite. with that one. That's most people's favorite right there. That is our uh, supercar. That's a 2020 NSX. Um, it has some special uh, additions. Uh, you can see the carbon fiber wheels. Um, mm -hmm. The paint is a, um, a $6,000 upgrade. It's Valencia Red Pearl, which is the number one selling color uh, in Acura for NSXs. And oh, it is wow. made by a, a hometown company, uh, PPG Paints. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, so how fast does the NXX go? I know that's my biggest question. The, yeah. And a lot of people ask that same question. Um, it, it's, it's close to a 200 mile an hour car, um, in, in the stock version, they do make these for, uh, EMSA racing, which, uh, those vehicles go a, a lot faster than that. And actually have won, uh, the championship two years in a row and, uh, Acura just won the, uh, Rolex 24 at Daytona for the first time ever this year. Oh, wow. So, so um, I'll say, I think this one's a 2020 model. Is there anything special about this specific one that we have in our showroom? Anything else you want to add about it? Yeah, it does have the uh, carbon fiber uh, package, the interior carbon, fi uh, carbon fiber package. Uh, it's a technology package, which comes with the upgrade in the uh, sound system. And our sound system is uh, known to be one of the best in the industry. Um, it has the accessory uh, forged wheel that you see there, um, door seal trim illuminated. So when you open up the door, the, the, the seal of the door lights up. Uh, and this actually uh, is available for sale. It's got a little over 5,000 miles on it. Um, your, um, uh, I guess it would be your uncle. Mm-hmm. Your, your uncle yeah. uh, was uh, so the owner of the company uh, was using it as a driver for the summer, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's uh, available for sale. We're getting calls from all over the country. Um, we do have a uh, discount on it, so if you're interested, please give us a call, and uh, we'll work a great deal for you. I say that would be a really fun summer car to drive around here. It's a uh, zero to sixty mile an hour um, in three second car. Oh which, wow competes with Ferraris, Lamborghinis, um, McLarens, but it does it under $200,000. Oh, wow. I'll say, Brian, and, you should show us how that door handle works again. I'll say that's such a neat how it's like flat on it. Yep. When you walk up, it actually pops open. If you have the key on you, it'll pop open like that. And then you simply just open the door and get in. It's designed to be an everyday driver car. It is an all wheel drive uh, vehicle. And you actually can fit a uh, um, uh, a golf bag in the trunk. Wow! I was gonna say, what a beautiful car! It's just breathtaking when you see it. 
573 horsepower and it's uh again a hybrid uh all-wheel drive so it can actually work on battery or combustion wow uh, what else do we have in the showroom down there i say i know i see um i know that we have the pmc rdx down there somewhere there it is right there it's the same color that gets on the nsx yeah so this vehicle is actually made at the same plant um, as the MDX, uh, uh, a performance manufacturing center in Ohio. This is the color. Um, what color was it, Jess, again? Thermal orange. There you go. Thermal <laughs> orange. Only available in the PMC RDX, and uh, you can order one in the NSX in that color as well. It's a newer color for 2020. This is I was going to say, I won I say I wouldn't think I would like an orange vehicle, but with the black trim on this, like yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's all high gloss black where we usually have chrome. Uh, that signifies the PMC edition, um, and it's basically an advanced package, just uh, kind of uh, spiced up from the PMC uh, manufacturing facility. So, um, what does PMC stand for? Performance Manufacturing Center. That's in uh, Marysville, Ohio. That's where okay. they build. That's where they exclusively build all NSXs. Okay. So this is kind of like an RDX on steroids. It's like the best RDX you can get. It yeah. is. It isn't a performance upgrade. It's more of an appearance upgrade. But it is hand built, and it's one of three hundred and sixty. Oh wow! It's number one twenty four. Exactly. What um what kind of safety features do the RDXs have? You want to tackle that, Jess? <laughs> Lane keeping is assist proximity sensors. Um, it will break for you if you're getting close to a vehicle, and it will tell you when to stop. I know I the breaking something. I have an RDX, and I definitely need that sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you're not paying attention. It won't sometimes, but you. I'm, you know busy in the morning it's definitely i felt the features the safety features that they have i've definitely utilized them um they're really great one thing acura is known for is uh having a lot of standard features and everything uh, that just uh, talked about is standard except the blind spot you have to go to a tech package to get that so if you can get a premium package which is basically our, our base package and you can have all the standard safety options that come with that. Mm -hmm. I'll say there it is, the 124 out of That's it. It's, it's hand-built. It's got contrast stitching uh, in uh, in the orange. Uh, you have leather with a uh, Alicantara Lux suede insert. Um, it's really one of a kind. It's the only one that we're going to get. Mm -hmm. So in general, what are some differences between the A-Spec and just the regular RDX? Well, with an, with an A-Spec, you're basically getting a, a performance appearance package where everything is going to be blacked out. All the chrome is going to be blacked out. You're going to get uh, bigger rims, uh, more of a contoured steering wheel. Um, I see some questions coming in, so I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, I just saw that one pop up. Yeah. Leather, leather is not standard in all Acuras. It used to be, but our competitors like BMW, Audi... Lexus, Infiniti, Mercedes, they don't even have standard leather. You can buy a $120,000 Mercedes and it's not leather. Um, the only thing that's not leather is on our premium package. It is uh, more of a leatherette. So we do not offer cloth. That is the only package that is not leather. So every other package leather is standard on the tech, the A-spec and the advanced packages. Hmm. I'll say, I know our very own Gary Hanna he did a really in-depth video for the PMC edition. Maybe we could check that out right now. That would be a perfect time, Tim. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Gary Hanna with Smell Acura here in Greensburg. Today, we're here to give you an introduction to the special edition 2021 Acura RDX PMC edition. We happen to have number 124 out of 360, and it's a special edition that was built at the Acura Performance Manufacturing Center its color is thermal orange, which was a special color that was available only on the Acura NSX, and they've now introduced it on the uh, 2021 PMC edition of the RDX. 
The special edition RDX is a combination of the best features of the A-Spec with a few additions of the advanced version. On the front grill, you have the special pentagon-shaped diamonds for the uh, blacked-out grill that's unique to the A-Spec, as well as the blacked-out trim. On the other versions, it's chrome trim. On the special edition RDX, it is a blacked-out trim that follows along on the side trim lines. The wheels on the special edition RDX are a special version just for that RDX. It's a dark color that's not, that does not exist on any of the other RDX versions. The uh, lower body side molding trims are also blacked out, which is another A-Spec feature. The emblems are all A-Spec A -spec special versions that are unique to the A-Spec edition of the RDX. On the A-Spec editions of the RDX, the rear exhaust pipes are typically a chrome version, and on this version of the RDX, they're a special version that is more of a blacked out chrome. And on the back of the RDX, uh, in between the two chrome exhaust pipes, which are blacked out chrome, is the uh, unique diffuser that's on the back of the uh, RDX. It's unique to the A-Spec. The rear tailgate on the RDX can be open hands-free with a simple use of a key fob. Once it's open in the back storage space, it's uh, available with over 79 feet of cargo space with the rear seats down. The Special Edition RDX comes with the A-Spec trim on the inside, so the pedals and so forth are included uh, with metal trim, but unique to this version is the orange trimmed seat cushions as well as the floor mats. The seats on the Acura RDX PMC Edition are the premium Milano leather that have the ultra suede premium inserts and both front seats are a heated and cooled version that have a contrasting orange stitching which is unique to this particular version of the RDX. In addition to the heated and cooled front seats on the special edition RDX, the rear seats on the outboard seats are actually heated as well so the rear seat passengers have their own individual controls. When you get into the Acura RDX PMC edition, one of the things you'll notice is the heads-up display that will allow you to see your speed on the windshield as well as the road sign. In addition, one of the great features that everybody likes is the heated steering wheel. So with a simple touch of a button, you do have access to warm hands. You also notice that the steering wheel is stitched with a special A-spec um, a contrast stitching as well. Uh, some of the other features are included in the RDX, the new touchpad display, the 10.3 inch screen, um, your all season temperature controls, etc. When you look down, you'll also notice that the, um, all the foot pedals have the special metal trim that's unique to the A-Spec as well. Down next to your touchpad, you'll also notice the unique plaque that's special for this one. It's number 124 out of 360. If you have any additional questions on the special edition RDX, please come and see us at Smell Acura on Route 30 in Greensburg or look us up online at smellacura.com. Explaining that. So do you still want to know what is uh, available in the A-Spec, what makes it different on the RDX? Sure. Okay, so you have uh, basically exclusive dark finish exterior trim, similar to the PMC edition. Um, you have 20-inch wheels, uh, LED fog lights, A-Spec badging. The audio system, our L Studio 3D premium audio system has 16 speakers. Um, and again, we're, we are really known for our audio system. The advanced package in the RDX um, one was ranked number one out of 70 systems that were tested recently uh, from an audiophile magazine. It also has, just like the PMC, exclusive uh, contrast stitching um, that's uh, red. You have the interior is only available with a red leather or a black leather with the Lux Wade black inserts. You have heated and vented uh, front seats, um, and that's pretty much uh, it. We have uh, a lot in stock, so uh, come check it out. Mm -hmm. um, so are you guys, I know we're kind of changing to a different model here, but I can't believe we already have a 2022 MDX in the showroom. It's like barely 2021 and we're already in 2022. It is. It's a little unique to that because uh, Acura decided not to make a 2021 MDX because the build date would be too small. It was only gonna be about four months, five months, and it wasn't gonna be fair to people who owned a 2021. So for the first time ever, they skipped from a 2020 to a 2022. Hmm. I didn't know that. Jess, you wanna tell them all about 
<laughs> so you'll see the diamond grill in the front mm -hmm. and then you'll see the LED headlights and then you see the proximity sensors on the bottom. So it lets you know when you're close to something. Oh, that's where those are. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, a little boxier, kind of. A little, and it's a little bit bigger than the 20s. Um, I like it. I do too. What, um, what, is that just white or is it a special white? It's a pearl white. Pearl white. Yes. Around to the back. Are there any features with the rear of the vehicle? You'll see the LED headlights, I mean, backlights in the back. And it's hands free, so all you have to do is press the button underneath the A and it will open the tailgate for you. Hmm. I wonder if, yeah, Brian can. So this has a whole third row. It um, does. And then if you don't need the third row or want to put it down because you're hauling something, you can always put the third row down. I love that leather color. What color is that in? Espresso. I was going to say, I really like the brown. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. There you go. Brian did it for us. <laughs> a, little, a little history for you that you may not know. The MDX was the first luxury SUV to ever have a third row. So it's legendary for that. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. True. True. So also, also the new MDX, uh, the wheelbase is 2.8 inches longer. The length is 2.2 inches total in length longer than the previous model. The width is about an inch longer, and the height is just under about a quarter of an inch shorter on the height. And there is a self-washer for the MDX and the backup camera. Yeah, why don't you tell oh, me there. Yeah, why don't you tell them about the mid, the middle uh, second row seat. That's a really a game changer for this new design, Jess. So the middle row, the second seat, you can remove it completely. So it can be a walkway for the third row. So you don't have to push the button to get in the back seat anymore. Oh, so you'd have two kind, like the two seats, and then there'll be like a kind of like a, walk. a pathway. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's you kind have, of like captain chairs. Yeah, you have, okay. three, you have three options. You have the bench. You have the captain is what he's showing you right now. And then that whole center column can come out and then you'll have a walkway. It's the first time, uh, first ever in uh, this uh, segment of SUVs. Oh, wow. I was like, yeah, that would give so much room. That would make it very comfortable. Yeah, very versatile. Yep. And then then you have... Go ahead, Taylor. No, sorry. I'm just looking. <laughs> <laughs> So right you can now, do the temperature in the back too, so the front doesn't have to do it anymore. Yeah, first first SUV ever to have its own climate control in the second row. That's another thing uh, that Acura came out with a first in the in the uh, segment. So they're the pioneers in a lot of different things. First ever to have a navigation system into a car. First to have Bluetooth, and we were the first to have Bluetooth audio when there was only two phones that were capable of doing it back in. Uh, back in the day. And one was a Blackberry. If you go back that far. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. Now, a, lot of, a lot of things have changed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brian was just showing you the sunroof. So it's bigger than what it used to be. Oh, that's yeah. That's really big. All right. So we got a question uh, from uh, Cindy. I, I heard it has a self-washing camera. Is that true? In the advanced package, uh, we have a, uh, a little uh, squirt jet that washes the camera eyeball. It's like a glass eyeball. Um, and that's the only package that you would be able to get that on. Yes. And then just a reminder for people that are just tuning in, um, we are live. So please ask us any questions. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, and we'll even throw some of your comments up on the screen, as you can see we're doing for Cindy. Um, so just a reminder to everyone watching to... Keep engaging. Yeah, there's two new colors, huh, Jess? Yes. What are they? <laughs> the violet and the carbon fiber? Yeah, the liquid carbon metallic um, <laughs> and the uh, phantom violet pearl. Um, very unique uh, color the, is the, the phantom violet pearl. It's, it's really almost a black purple. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so very, very unique to the industry. Um, and then uh, we took both of our uh, grayish colors and combined them into one, which is the liquid carbon metallic. So that's new for the 2022 MDMs. I was going to say, I'm even noticing, it seems like the front is extremely different from the 2020. They just really revamped it. It's a complete redesign. Um, I mean, the lines on the vehicle have all been completely changed. And that's what you're seeing when you're looking at, you know, the front of the car, the side of the car and the rear of the car. Is that a charging? It is a wireless charger. That's really nice. It is. And then it looks like it has a touch pad. Yeah, so the screen is not touched. It's all by the true touch pad. So wherever your finger's at, you just press down and it will navigate through the car for you. Okay. And then it has um, the buttons. It does. So P is for park, down to reverse, neutral, and drive. Oh, so yeah, it's the last one I saw was the 2020. So this is a complete revamp. Yes. It looks really good. Does anyone that's watching have any more questions about the 2022 MDX? I'll say it. Um, we also have a TLX in the showroom. Maybe we could check that out. And that's the new remodeled 2021 Acura TLX. Uh, looks like a uh, A-spec package which is personally what I drive. Um, it is one of our best-selling uh, sedans, uh, uh, definitely in that package. Looks like that's a modern steel, which really, in my opinion, matches the, the grayish uh, aspect uh, rims the best. It's more of a monochromatic look because it doesn't contrast the color. Mm -hmm. And this one has red seats. Yeah, if we can see the red leather, that's the way to get it. It's got the red leather with, uh, you can see the big spoiler on the back. It's got the uh, Alicantara suede inserts. I love that red. Yeah, this is our sport. This is our sports car. This is Acura sports car. Um, there is um, a lot of talk about uh, the Type S that's going to be coming out sometime this year. We're going to uh, have a Type S on every model. Uh, the A-Spec, like I said before, is basically a performance appearance. It's the look of, uh, of uh, a sports car. It makes it look faster just by how they black out everything and give it bigger rims, bigger exhaust tips, bigger diffuser in the back. But the Type S model that we haven't made since 2008, when that comes out, it's going to have a performance upgrade. That means that there's going to be an upgrade in the engine. So... This uh, uh, four-cylinder is going to go from a V6 uh, V6 turbo. So they're saying that it's going to be around 355 horsepower, uh, around 355 pounds of torque. And that's going to be a car that uh, a lot of people are going to be coming in uh, and, and, and wanting. It's going to be very popular. I was going to say, yeah. It, it, for the type S. It yeah, has a very yeah. aggressive and sporty look. It does, and that's what the A-Spec gives it. Um, so I kind of just have a general question, maybe people that aren't as familiar with Acura. So we're looking at the TLX, and then there's also an ILX. What's kind of a general difference between the two of those? The ILX is a smaller sedan, and it okay. only comes in front-wheel drive. The TLX comes in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. So size is kind of the main difference. Yeah. Yeah. When you when you when you think about that, you got to think about who you know where where Acura comes from. I mean, Acura is the upper end of Honda. Mm -hmm. So so when you look at our our vehicles like the RDX and the MDX, it's going to be similar size to a CRV to a Pilot. These are just Hondas on steroids, basically. I tell a, a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> the ILX is going to be more closer to like a Civic size where the TLX is going to be more similar to an Accord size. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we have a nice little cartage of it. Yeah, we got a question about uh, what does super handle uh, or S-H-A-W-D mean? <laughs> um, I'll take that question if, uh, if, if you don't mind, Jess, because uh, um, I believe it's one of the best all-wheel drive systems in the industry. 
most all wheel drive systems will send power to the front and to the rear only. Okay. And some systems that are reactive all wheel drive systems only send power to the front tires. And if the front tires slip, then they send power to the rear. So basically you're driving a front wheel drive car until you get into a slippery situation. Our super handling, and that's what it stands for, SH, all wheel drive, is a symmetrical all wheel drive system, which means that it's always sending power to all four wheels. And where we take it to the next step that a lot of other manufacturers and our competitors don't do is we torque vector. Torque vector means that we take power in the rear and we send it side to side. So when you're cornering and you step into the gas, the rear outside tire is actually going to spin faster and it's going to keep you in that corner wherever you basically steer is where that car is going to be. So it changes the dynamics and the yaw effect of when your car is cornering. Helps you in aggressive um, situations where you might have to aggressively do a maneuver to miss a pothole or, or miss a you know a dead animal, animal or a car pulling out in front of you. This car can handle that uh, with ease. Mm -hmm. We actually have videos uh, uh, at Accurate.com where they actually can show you where the power is being sent, and also in the car it has a um, a little graph on the dashboard and it shows you when you step on the gas where the torque is being sent to each tire. Oh, wow. Yeah, very few cars have that. I was gonna say, I know we have another pre-recorded video um, of the 2021 Acura TLX. We could always throw that up um, and let everyone get a detailed video of that. Let's do it. back first drive that might have been a little more detailed but yeah so that was the tlx all right there's a question i think that we missed someone asked uh, where's the tv for the kids and the mdx um the new 2022 mdx does not have a uh, rear entertainment package um i think mostly because most most kids have some kind of digital device that they can watch movies on like maybe their phone or an ipad so uh, Acura did not come out with a DVD package or a rear entertainment system. We do have companies that can install them in the rear headrest, so we can put a DVD and an entertainment system into any car. Sweet. What's next? Um, I was gonna say, I think we've seen all the cars in the showroom. Um, is it snowing down there? <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> I know earlier I saw real big snowflakes coming down. I can tell you they're still coming down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's going to go outside. <laughs> there you go. Live uh, weather from Snail Acura. <laughs> I was going to say, I know, encouraging everyone to come down in, but I know the weather's a little. Well, we can show you how the super handling all wheel drive handles snow. I was going to say, I know we have. Um, Kind of going back to the MDX, we have a really detailed version of the 2022 MDX we can always throw up. I think we're about to. My name is Clint Robbins. I'm a senior sales consultant here at Smell Acura. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the new redesigned 2022 Acura MDX A-Spec. It looks fast even when it's standing still. The new diamond grille is three-dimensional 
which radiate from the center of the Acura logo in small diamonds to larger on the outside. The four-sided diamonds themselves reflect light in all directions. This offers you a slim and sleek jewel eye LED headlights in the front, which also wrap around the side to simulate movement in the front of the vehicle. The new Chicane LED daytime running lights are racing inspired and communicate our racing heritage. Acura just won the Rolex 24 Daytona, which is a 24 hour race for the first time ever and we're very proud of that. The vehicle also offers a new design that gives it a low and wide stance for increased performance. The 2022 MDX will have two powertrains. The main powertrain will be a 3.5 liter V6 engine, single overhead cam, uh, intelligent VTEC engine that puts out 290 horsepower and 267 pounds of torque. The second powertrain version is going to be specifically for the Type S, which is probably going to be coming out sometime in the summer. That's going to be a 3.0 V6 with a turbo that is estimated to put out 355 horsepower and 354 pounds of torque. The 2022 MDX has the fourth generation of SHAWD, which stands for Super Handling All-Wheel Drive. The new system can deliver more power to the rear outside wheel quicker than the previous system to ensure uh, better handling and cornering. The new MDX has a new 10-speed automatic transmission, which offers quicker acceleration, reduced noise, vibration, and harshness, and improved comfort. The 10-speed auto transmission also has a lower first gear for improved launch feeling, also allowing drivers to skip gears while downshifting faster, and it can downshift up to four gears at a time. The A-Spec package is a performance appearance package, which includes the following. 20-inch dark finish wheels, gloss black accents around the perimeter of the car which covers the chrome the normal chrome pieces is basically all gloss uh, high gloss black accents darkened headlights and taillights on the inside of the lights sport seats with milano leather ultra suede inserts with contrast stitching and piping it also boasts a Owl's Studio 3D Premium Audio Sound System that's one of the best in the world. It has 16 speakers and 710 watts of power. Designed exclusively for Acura by Elliot Shiner, a eight-time Grammy Music Award producer. The Aceback also has heated and ventilated front seats, LED fog lights, flat bottom sports steering wheel that you see in exotic sports cars, stainless steel sport pedals, geometric patterned brushed aluminum interior trim, an ebony headliner, also has a flexible multi-function second row center seat, first in its segment. It has three options. One, bench seat. Two, down, makes captain chairs with cup holders. Three, it is removable so you have a pass-through to get to access the third row seat. The new redesign of the MDX is also three inches longer in a wheelbase. This helps improve ride uh, quality and larger and more versatile cargo area. Also enables the MDX to have more leg room for passengers in the second row, which is two inches more than the previous MDX model. For the first time ever, we have a accurate designed precision cockpit. This is a 12.3 inch digital display cluster, which can be personalized in two layouts. One being an advanced layout, second is a crafted layout. In the center, we have a 12.3 ultra wide, full high definition center display, which is the largest ever in an Acura. This can be controlled by the true touchpad. Also an Acura first is we have smart shortcuts for quick access to all your music and your navigation. This system learns over time based on your history and gets smarter as it learns your habits. This will also work for driver one and driver two. 
It also, for the first time ever, has cabin control, which is standard on all MDX models. This allows the passengers to control the audio, the music, uh, climate, and the navigation through a smartphone-based app. Also, for the first time ever, we have wireless charging in the MDX. On Acura First, we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. No more connecting to a wire. We also will have, for the first time ever in Acura, uh, Amazon Alexa Auto built-in integration. Also has Acura's iconic interior lighting themes. This package has 27 different themes. They're inspired by iconic public roads, emotional driving locations, and true racetrack experiences. There's so much more to tell you about the new 2022 MDX. So please give us a call, go online, set up an appointment. Uh, we're right off Route 30 in Greensburg. Again, my name is Clint Robbins. Uh, I would love to help you and show you uh, what's also available on this and maybe take it for a test drive around the rural roads of Greensburg and Westmoreland County. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone, and we are back. We have some new faces. We have our service advisor, Alex Jones, and we have our GM, Marcus Smale, that are joining us. Everyone say hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> um, so Alex is one of our service advisors. I know I wanted to ask you, Alex, um, yeah. could you kind of tell people what it's like um, as an Acura vehicle owner, like to coming to get your car service, what they can kind of expect and what that experience is like? Yeah. So uh, one thing at Smail Acura that we're really, really proud about um, is that we commonly win an award every year that's actually really difficult to win. Um, it's called the Precision Team Award. And out of 280 dealers, we're in the top 20. Um, we've yeah. won this award 16 times and it's been 12 times in a row. I've been here for almost 10 of those years. Um, so what we pride ourselves on is basically being different, not necessarily always better, but different than everybody else. I, when you come in, we know you by your name. We know what car you drive. We want to make sure that you get the most pleasurable experience every time you're here. Service can be a really fun thing. You can come in for maintenance, but we know that's not all it is. So we want to be here for those difficult times and for those not difficult times. Um, and we want to make sure that you have every opportunity to be able to contact us. Um, you know, we have texting that we offer as far as keeping in contact for while your vehicle's here. If you have questions while your vehicle's not here, if it's 1230 at night and you think, oh, hey, I have to ask Alex this, you can send me a text message and I'm going to get it in the morning and I'll be able to answer it that much faster for you. Um, we have email available. Of course, you can still always call in. Um, so we like to make it as easy as possible, not only to come in, but to get a hold of us so that we can, um, you know, make everything as seamless as possible. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, it seems like it's a very easygoing oh, yeah. process to come get your Acura service. Definitely. We try to. <laughs> That's yeah. we have, uh, me, um, Brent Contic, who's in service, Gabe Leonard, who most everybody knows him too, mm -hmm. and the infamous Cameron Kissner. When mm -hmm. Cameron's not here, everyone comes in and says, oh my gosh, where's Cameron? He didn't leave, did he? No, Cameron will be here forever. So basically everybody knows who he is. <laughs> I'll say, I know every morning when I walk in, I can I get that, good morning, hey, Taylor. Taylor. It's <laughs> <your day>. Yep. <laughs> I'll say, so we also have Marcus joining us, who's our GM of Acura. I'll say you've been tuning in for this whole auto show. You have any words you want to say about anything about Acuras? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, as you guys all know, unfortunately, we weren't able to have the Pittsburgh auto show this year because of uh, COVID-19. But uh, I feel so lucky as a general manager here to have such a great team that uh, really took the initiative to, you know, still give the people a little look of what's going on uh, inside Smail Acura. And as you guys saw, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on here. Got a lot of new models, um, a lot of unique, cool, kind of limited cars that you can really only get here. So, um, you know, I'm just so grateful, you know, you guys were able to see all everything we have and uh, really looking forward to a great year. Yeah. I was gonna say, um, I don't know if any more questions are coming in. I'm not really seeing any. Um, but, you know, if anyone has any further questions, you can still comment on this video. It'll still be up after we turn the live off. Um, if you have any questions for Alex or Marcus, um, 
you can always I see one question here asking about uh navigation system um i tell you what the brand new um mdx actually is the first of its kind to have a hands-free um apple carplay and android auto so before if you wanted to use um the navigation on your phone you had to plug it in um, but now it's completely hands-free as long as it's in the car it can pop right up on your display and uh if you're not comfortable with a accurate navigation system, you know, you can use, um, you know, anything, Waze or um, Apple Maps, anything like that, which is, you know, really great feature added. So great question there. I think he is. I think. Uh, I was going to say, if anyone has any more questions that are going to come in, um, continue to like this video and keep commenting. We'll get back to anyone even after this video is over. Um, Aside from that, though, I think we've pretty much covered everything that's in the showroom. Um, thank you for joining us, everyone. Our first ever virtual auto show. Um, we're going to be doing these videos all throughout the week. So tune in to all our other locations. Um, and yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the week. See you. See you guys. Bye. Yes, my name is Jessica Crawford and I'm here at Smell Acker in Greensburg and today I'm going to show you the 2021 Acker RDX A spec. So let's get to it. So here on the front you're going to notice a big A for the Acker symbol. You're also going to notice the diamond shaped grille. You're also going to see the jewel eye LED headlights in the front. You're also going to have fog lights which is also going to be LED headlights. And you have automatic high beams and low beams so whenever you're driving in the fog or any weather you're gonna be able to see clearly. On the A-Spec package, you're gonna notice everything's all blacked out on the trim. So you're not gonna have chrome, it's gonna be more of a sportier look. So right around the windows, it's all gonna be black, and also the wheels are gonna be blacked out too. And in the back, you're gonna have an automatic tailgate, so you can easily put your groceries or anything else in your trunk. In the trunk, you're gonna have 29.5 cubic feet of storage space. So with the back seats down, you're going to have 58.9 cubic feet. In the A-Spec, you can either have red or black seats, and this one that we have right here has the red in seats throughout the car. In the back seat, you're going to have USB ports so people in the back seat can use it to charge their phone. So if there's two people in the back seat, you can always put the middle and you'll have cup holders for you. So if you want to drink, you can always leave it in the cup holders. So as you work your way into the front seat, you are going to notice the heated and ventilated seats in the front. On the engine, it's going to be a four-cylinder twin turbo and 272 pounds-feet torque. So we do have super handling all-wheel drive, so you don't have to put an all-wheel drive. It's always going to be an all-wheel drive. So say if the weather is bad, it's going to push power to wherever it needs it in the car. So another thing you're going to notice is a true touchpad. So it's kind of like a laptop and it's like a mouse. So wherever your finger is at, you just press down and you can get whatever you want on the screen. So I really like the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay because it gives you access to your phone. So if you're driving and someone texts you, you can always do the voice command and answer it without even touching your phone. And you can also answer it if someone calls you. So if you have any questions, leave the comments below or come see us off of Route 30 or visit us at smellacura.com. Your family's safety is important to you. That's why you do what you do to protect them. At Smale Collision Center, your family's safety is important to us, too. And that's why we're the best place to go when you get in a collision. Remember, you, not the insurance company, decide where to have your vehicle repaired. We'll repair it to the original manufacturer specs. We work with all insurance companies and offer a lifetime warranty on most repairs. We've been serving the community for over 45 years. Smale Collision Center.